Top 10 Most Haunted Places in Washington State Some would say that Washington is one of the most beautiful states in North America thanks to an abundance of natural lakes, lush forests, and historic landmarks. However, lurking behind that beauty is a much darker side involving some particularly creepy paranormal hotspots. Number 10. Campbell House, Spokane Campbell House is one of Washington's most well-known historical landmarks. It was designed and built by Kirtland K. Cutter in 1898 and was first owned by Amaza Basil Campbell. There is a very sad story attached to the house. In the early 1900s, three of the Campbell children were murdered by a burglar who also kidnapped the fourth child. The child was never returned. With such a tragic past, it's hardly surprising that the Campbell House is still one of the most haunted houses in the state of Washington. Visitors describe feeling a very unsettling feeling on entering the house and are often overcome with dread. There is a portrait of Maisie in the house that is said to follow visitors with its eyes as they wander the house, perhaps looking to see if the kidnapper ever returns. Number 9. Black Diamond Cemetery The very fact that Black Diamond Cemetery is a burial ground makes it a little creepy, but then when you add the fact that this is actually one of the most haunted locations in Washington, it really kicks the spook factor up a few notches. It has been said that visitors have heard whistling and voices when nobody is around, and there have been reports of swinging lanterns and dead cold miners seen on foggy nights. Number 8. University Heights, Seattle University Heights in Seattle was at one time a school, but it has since been converted into a community center. It is also considered to be one of the most haunted buildings in Washington thanks to the spirit of a little boy who is haunting the building. The youngster is believed to have been a student at University Heights when it was still operating as a school, and it seems like he has never left. He is often seen and heard playing in the halls. However, he certainly does not seem to be alone in the building since many visitors, staff, and paranormal investigators have all said they have heard what sounds like a small group of children playing and laughing in the building. At least the little boy doesn't seem to be so lonely. Number 7. Tacoma Old City Hall in Tacoma Tacoma Old City Hall has been the center of various reports of hauntings since the mid-70s. According to local town records, the police were called to the old buildings on a number of occasions starting in 1974 to investigate a variety of different disturbances including lights going on and off, noises coming from inside, fire alarms sounding, and even intruder alarms being triggered. Those reporting the disturbances believed that someone was breaking in, but on each occasion the police would find no evidence that anyone had ever been inside. There was no signs of forced entry, nothing had been disturbed, and there was no logical explanation for the disturbances. Number 6. Fort Vancouver National Historical Site in Vancouver, Washington Fort Vancouver dates back to the 19th century, but before that, it served as a fur trading outpost. It stands on the Columbia River and is located partly in Washington and partly in Oregon. Like so many other old ruined buildings, Fort Vancouver has had its fair share of secrets hidden within its walls. One of the most active buildings is said to be the Great House Art Center, which sits among the houses on Officers Row. Some of the strange phenomena that has been reported there includes phones ringing when they are completely unplugged and doors opening and closing by themselves. There is one particular ghost whose staff have nicknamed Sully that likes to sit in the cafe and drink coffee. Number 5. Mount Baker Theater, Bellingham Mount Baker Theater opened in Bellingham in 1927, and ever since it first opened its doors, the building seems to have been plagued by ghosts. Just some of the reports have been recorded here, including unexplained voices, cold spots, strange disembodied voices, balls of lights, and even odd apparitions. There is a resident ghost of a young woman named Judy, and for years the theater had reports of her developing crushes on male projectionalists and ushers at the theater. When she picks a crush, they'll hear their names crawled across the stage and they'll feel ghostly touches on their backs and shoulders. 
She's just one of the four ghosts that paranormal investigators have discovered there. With all the strange paranormal activity going on, it's not difficult to see why Mount Baker Theater is considered to be one of the most haunted places in Washington. Number 4. Oxford Saloon, Snohomish The Oxford Saloon in Snohomish is considered to be one of the top haunted places in Washington State. It has been investigated by a number of different paranormal investigators, and many of them have picked up on some very clear examples of electronic voice phenomena. The saloon was built in 1900, but it has been modified considerably over the years. It has seen more than its fair share of violence over the years as well, especially down in the basement in the men's card room. One of the most documented murders here is the death of a policeman named Henry, who was a regular at the saloon, who may have even worked as a bouncer on his days off. He is believed to be one of the many spirits haunting the Oxford Saloon today. He often appears on the basement stairs, but is also known to pinch women in the ladies' restroom. On the upper floors, there are said to be three more ghosts, a man in a bowler hat, and two female spirits. One of the ladies is a madame known as Kathleen, and she is described as an older woman dressed in purple with matching purple bows. The other girl named Amelia, who was forced into prostitution by Kathleen, and was found dead in a closet on the property. Number 3. Cal's Irish Pub, Seattle Once known as the Butterworth Building, this former mortuary is now a very popular bar called Kell's Irish Pub. It is not only one of the most haunted locations in Washington state, but it is considered to be the most haunted pub in North America and has even been the focus of a couple different paranormal TV shows. A large number of bodies have passed through the mortuary thanks to disease epidemics, mining accidents, and violent crime that has certainly left its mark on the property. Just some of the unexplained activity that has been documented here includes mirrors spontaneously shattering for no apparent reason plaster falling from the walls, glasses being swiped off surfaces by unseen hands, and disembodied voices. The owner also claims to see an apparition sitting at the end of the bar, which he described as a mixed-race man with very thin hands wearing a suit jacket. Interestingly, some of the bodies passed through the mortuary here would have been the victims of our next haunted location. Number 2. Starvation Heights Sanitarium, Olala Starvation Heights Sanitarium was operated by Dr. Linda Hazard and her husband Sam, but the doctor was using a very strange treatment method to treat her patients. Starvation. Needless to say, this was not an effective treatment and a large number of her patients died. These bodies were incinerated within the sanitarium to cover up the mistreatment while Dr. Hazard maintained her public image as a strong female leader. However, behind the scenes, she was evil and greedy. Today, the foundation of the building and the incinerator are all that really remains. Well, apart from the spirits of the former patients that are said to be roaming around the ruins, that is. Number 1. Northern State Mental Hospital, Cedra Woolley At one time, as many as 2,000 patients lived in the Northern State Mental Hospital. A large percentage of those patients would have also died in the building due to a variety of different causes. Some would have passed from natural causes, but far more died as a direct result of strenuous physical labor, electroshock therapy treatments gone too far, botched lobotomies, complications during forced sterilizations, and some were just straight out murdered. It is no great surprise that with so much death and despair, linked to the property, it has become one of the most haunted places in Washington State. There have been various reports of paranormal activity, including one of the most common sightings, an apparition of a nurse pushing a male patient in a wheelchair. Other common reports include shadow figures, disembodied screams, and cold spots. <laughs>